In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with y'all a stock or a sector, I would say, that is about to go insane tomorrow and why y'all should keep it in your watch list. We're also going to look at the overall market because tomorrow there's going to be the PPI report being reported at uh, 7.30 a.m. Central Time. I'm also going to be doing an update on some of the stocks that I've mentioned in the last video. All right, y'all, let's dive into the chart right off the bat. We got the SPY and let's go on to, let's go on to the SPY futures itself. All right. So the big move, the massive move that I thought would happen. This is big. I'm not going to lie. This is, it was down by negative 1.3% and pretty much every single stock gap down which was what i predicted all right and fortunately it wasn't as violent as i thought it didn't go all the way down to five thousand to, to, to 5100 i mean um honestly i didn't think i when i drew this this is exactly what i meant all right i thought it would actually go that low from that report but it might take a few more days for us to see uh for us to see the price of the spy trickle down in here to 5100 now going back to the spy itself the spy etf that's a that's a lone doji at the bottom all right and then we got a gap right here to fill right now the indices are both like the nasdaq futures and the spy futures are both down by negative 0.20 percent I expect negative 0.50% by the morning before we really sell off again. All right. Now let's look at, um, I told you guys with the reports that what I was expecting was a three points. I thought it was going to be a 3.7%. Um, the increase happened at 3.5 or higher. We got that already. And I also showed you what happens when we get three consecutive months of a steady increase in the inflation report kind of similar to this right here after we had this rise during the month of september and october the market actually like retraced for some days all right and i expect that to happen the bears are in control at the moment okay the bears are in control now the vix the vix is still trying to stay clean i thought the cpi report would actually push the price up here but unfortunately it hasn't so let's see if the ppi report will do that for the bears and will do that for us okay now the sector all these stocks within the sector that i want to share with all of you for tomorrow that sector is banks once again all right now with the banks with the banks i shared i shared this one with you guys i shared bank of america with y'all on this day because of the bearish engulfing candle the stock took a sweet time going sideways i thought it was going to drop after that day but no it went sideways and then the cpi report came in and it gapped down a little bit to 37 and immediately fell all the way down to 36 65 what i see on the chart i'm gonna make this really big for y'all so what i see on the charts this is called the combination of one two three four five this is called a falling three method all right let me go on here let's see if i can find good pictures of that falling three method candlestick there we go Let's see if I can find that images. I'm looking. All right. So this is what I'm talking about. Y'all see what I'm, y'all see right here. So this right there, this is exactly what we're seeing with, uh, with Bank of America. We had that bearish engulfing candle followed by one, two, three, and then another, this drop right here from CPI. What typically happens from, uh, from this thing after it happens, after it shows up, there tends to be a drop, typically, all right? 
especially after there's been a massive uptrend followed by a reversal kind of similar to what's going on here i think you have to see it yeah to what's going on here and what's going on here all right so definitely keep your eyes on bank of america for a drop all the way down to i would say the next level of support which is at 3527 the other bank stocks are reporting i think some of them are reporting earnings really soon this one is reporting on next week on the 16th let's see how city is doing city is reporting on the 12th which is on friday in two days all right so if this one tanks from earnings i would expect the other banks to follow suit after this huge run like that it's looking very tempting and right now again shorts short sellers are in control of the banks they're in control of the overall market again this is a visualization of what's going on with the top 100 stock in the s p all right um a lot of these stocks stayed right some money flowed into nvidia but completely ignored the other semiconductor stocks all right and again there's these little outliers in different sectors of the s p but overall everything is still bearish all right so watch the banks for a drop all right now let's do an updates yesterday i shared with you guys two stocks the first one being or the second one let's start with the second one the second one was pdd all right and this one i i gave you our reasons why on an ideal day where there is no fomc or no um no report that can move the market in major ways this stock right here is an easy trade to 125 right so the move right there happened and it got to 125 but unfortunately I was, the cpi report happened and brought the stock down right so again this is this is why i mentioned what i what i said in the last video i was like is it actually going to get there at the, in the opening hours and the training hours i wasn't too sure about that but yeah this is this is the reason why this behaved the way it did entry day provided the bearish opportunity short in the morning um but this is why it did that now the other stock that i've mentioned was oracle and oracle oracle this line of resistance got rejected so first we have the drop from the report and then we go up and then we sell off from it all right now there are dip buyers located here and there are dip buyers located at the open here and with tomorrow's ppi numbers what I want you to do is set an alert right at $120.60. And again, if the PPI report or the reaction to the PPI report turns out to be as bad as the CPI report, then it could actually fall all the way down to 115 and fill that gap at the bottom. All right. This hammer, not a good sign that the bulls are in control. Still, the bears are on this thing, not it doesn't change the trend that we are seeing so far gap at the bottom gotta get filled eventually and i think it's going to get filled sooner rather than later all right now the next stock that we're going to discuss is reddit now reddit reddit this is recent it doesn't have much history and i don't know if maybe one of y'all mentioned it in the comment section um i think one of y'all did that's why I'm, I'm talking about this one right now. Um, this one doesn't have a lot of history. The stock recently became public. And the upside, I would argue that 75 is the top that we're going to see for a long, long time. Um, before we curl back up and move higher. As you can see, there is a structure that I put out on here on the one hour yeah so on the one hour it looks like this and this is a 
bearish pennant that broke down in the morning and it's still down all right so with it not having that much history there's really no floor <laughs> like the floor is zero uh with this stock but for now i'm just gonna say watch it for a drop all the way down to 30 bucks maybe and then once it gets to 30 bucks we'll see where it goes from there we'll see where it goes from there but as of right now anybody who um who had shares in here or maybe people who have been waiting for this thing to go public before dumping their shares they're either panicking or they're selling to just take their money off the table and as that occurs the price is gonna slowly 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 fade into the 30s all right so that's my honest thoughts on all of these stocks and that is the end of the video do not forget to annihilate the like button as always remember I make these videos from Sunday to Thursday at exactly 10 p.m. Eastern time. So definitely click on that subscribe button and click on that notification bell. That way YouTube notifies you whenever I release these videos. If you'd like to be part of a private Discord community, we can get all of this information in real time as I see them. You can find that as the first link in the description of the video below. Don't forget to follow me on social media at Bulanguma. Phenology Lab on Instagram and on X. And lastly, to get some free stocks with Weeble, you can use the third link in the description of the video below. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is Phenology Lab, where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see all of you in what day is it? Today's Wednesday, in tomorrow night's video.